Let's uh, go to our winners and losers from the queen, from the air to the throne of it, man. What were your winners and losers? Let's start with the winners first. First battle that was there was, uh, I believe, E Heart versus First Lady Flames. The fan vote, I do believe, had E Heart winning. And I had E Heart winning. What do you think? Um, yeah, the first watch I had E Heart winning. Then I mm, watched oh. it again. I had Lady Flames winning. Then I watched it again. I had E Heart winning. It was it's just one of those battles to me. It was it's very debatable. Classic. I think I think Lady Flames, she showed she she belongs. She belongs in that ring. So like, yeah, V A. Man, E E Heart won every single round in this battle. Man, I uh, I went through it. I broke every. I I I tried to break everything down as much as possible, and I just thought that she it she um like the the impact that Heart was spinning in her rounds. I didn't feel that same that same energy that same impact from um what um compared to how e, um e heart was spitting it i think the first flames. i think yeah 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 with flame spitting <laughs> i think the first round it was um and i thought i thought i thought of flames was very she didn't come at her the way i thought she would like mm -hmm. when you especially going against somebody with e heart i think you just got to be more creative and I just thought her name flips. Um, it, it it wasn't for me. I I see. I heard better better flips than that. Um, yeah, sure. From C three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like um, yeah. I mean um, like uh, yeah. I just thought I just thought her name flips wasn't that good. I think E Heart. Um, that the murder bar, the way she ended with that murder bar, I thought. Um, I thought that was pretty dope. Um, I thought uh, when she said um, in the first round, she said, "What's?" She said, uh, "What's a, what's a deuce deuce for, to a four or five act your age?" Um, then she went in, and then she said, "I'll gather every bar that's a throwaway." Um, I'm looking like a prodigy to my protege, it, and that was just in the first round. And um, I just thought, I just thought the 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 bars and schemes that Hart was spitting, it just um, it just had an impact more on me compared to um, what uh, what Flames was trying to do, man. And um, I think the second, I think the second round, I think she really, a lot. I thought the third round was really close because I think the third round, I thought that was Flames' best round out of all the rounds that we she was spitting, but. I think um, E Hart's best round to me. I thought it, I thought it was the second round, man. Like she had a lot of uh, quotables um, when it came to um, when it came to her uh, second round with the I'll drive down to the I drive down with the sweeper and I'll take the Nika Green um, when she mentioned the um, <clears throat> when she mentioned the something about. Uh, uh, Yoshi, she said, if you see her, your ass better pop. You like beef over buns. You, you better put Jack in the box. I think that was one of the uh, best bar. I think that bar Fire. was, yeah, that bar had a huge Fire. impact. Yeah, definitely had a huge yeah. impact. Um, and you know me, I love me some basketball. I thought it was pretty crazy. She had a basketball bar uh, in there with uh, a, a, the Clint Capella with a young Trey uh, with the Atlanta Hawks. I thought that was pretty dope. Um, and then the last one in the second round. Oh, no, the, the scheme in the second round. Oh, that was probably my favorite, man. Um, um, she said, I'm planning my step two. I have my shit setting my fiends to the Neptunes. Then she said, clean... She said, Clips, Timbaland, Neptunes. Oh, you didn't peep it? She didn't know I was in VA scheming. Uh, <laughs> like, the, when, 
when I first when I, when well, I was watching when I was watching it, I didn't catch it. But when I watched the replay and I was breaking it down, I was like, I was like, oh shit, this shit's this shit's hard, man. Um, so um, so I that de- I and then the third round, the third round, it was like a back and forth third round. I thought Flames third round was unbeatable, man, in that third round. But E Hart right. came swinging in that third round. Like I was like, wow, she really won that round. And that's why I gave her every single round in that battle. It wasn't a body. I I just, for me, I had to edge her every single round in that battle. Um, Hart definitely. It's almost like she rebuttaled everything that First Lady Flames had to say. Like every angle that First Lady came with, Hart like clowned it and sunned her in a way. She treated her like a daughter she embraced the fact that she is her senior and she has been around longer and still managed to spank her in a sense. You know what I mean? Still managed to keep her rank. And um, I think that First Lady Flames is fire. I think her material is fire. But like you said, Keo, it just wasn't enough for her. I think the levels were clear. The maturity was clear in um, structure setups and angles. Her approach was um, clean, way more thought out than Flames. Um, what do you, you think? think y'all saying that because um, she lost the corn toss? Because I think if she would have went last, I think it would have been better for her. Like the fact E Heart went last. It was like she was rebuttaling what she was saying. So it was like, perfect. Yeah, it was like, oh, you know, because I like Flames third, but then E Heart came and like was like, she was just saying stuff like she was saying, like, I didn't know Lady Flames was there that long. You know, like, I didn't know she right. was being in the ring like eight years ago type shit. And she like right. said that I was like, okay, yeah. And she so, put it together I mean, just right to have us like, hey, so you just got better just now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think she did rebuttal. I think she did rebuttal because I think in one of the rounds, um, Flames was calling her um, auntie. Then she was like, mm-hmm. then, yeah, then, that then, whole, then she that was crazy. Then she responded with that bar where she had, uh, she said, "You calling me auntie like that'll make me tight. That's why I'm looking over you bitches because your sister didn't raise you right." Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, so, so I thought I kind of thought she rebuttaled that, which which was a really dope rebuttal. Uh, the uh, in that when she in that third round when E Hard spit it. Mm-hmm. So hard to embody her, but she definitely outclassed her. Yeah, man. I I yeah, I just I just had her in every round, man. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. man. Like like um e, uh, I mean flames came, but I think I think it was just different when it came to E Heart. <coughs> that wasn't uh, a big surprise for me. I predicted <laughs> E Heart to win, and I'm usually right. <laughs> Who who so is there is there is there is there is there somebody that you were really disappointed in? Like your losers. Sure. Who's your losers? Shuni lost tonight. I mean that night. Um Shuni lost, official loss, and clearly um Flames lost. Flames loss was a win though. That was a good loss. That was a loss right. she could level up from. Um, Shuni, she's coming back. She's, she's not fresh off maternity, but I could give Shuni a break. This is her first time on the caffeine setting. That pressure is different for her. She hasn't been in a setting like that, on a set like that. So, um, pacing herself and just, you know, I, I could give Shuni, she, she errors. Errors is what took Shuni out. Errors that with more prep, more focus, she could fix. Now official, <laughs> that was some bullshit. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Even uh, though this shit was free, we did not pay for that. Right. We did not pay for that. No. That was crazy. And um, 
I also predicted <laughs> that official would lose to Gaddis. I feel like official is overworked. Over fucking work. She didn't get through. You, you want to go right into it, Keo? You guys want to go right in? Yeah, let's let's let's. Or do we want to take this. it? Do we? Or we want to try to give um. Uh, let's, a chance to pop up. Let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go to. Okay, so first things first. Before we get into the battle. yeah, let's say let's say that because that was rough. Let's yeah. go to Shuni versus um Vixen the Assassin. But really, but really quick before we before uh, we get into that, uh, I wanted to inform everybody. Thank everybody who took part of the contest this past weekend. And I'm sorry, man. Nobody won. Nobody got that money. Yeah, nobody won. I'm sorry. I think I think it was close. I think when I was looking at the entries, no, there was if somebody would have had Gaddis 3-0 over official, I think they would have won it, but nobody had. A, a Gaddis uh, 3-0. It was a 2-1 Gaddis. A lot of 2-1 Gaddis. Some had official um, 2-1. I'm talking about the pe the fans the that did the predictions. Car. Yeah. I know what you yeah. had. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, but thank you to everybody that took part of it. But this ain't the last contest that we will be doing. So uh, there'll be more, though. But, um. Going to the going to the battle with Shuni and uh, Vixen. What what's your guys' thoughts about that battle? You why don't you lead us with this one? All right, so um, I got Vixen two one. Um, I give Shuni the third. Shuni third. It it was fire. I third was fire. Um, I think if Shuni would have got through. One of the mother rounds clean, she might could have took this battle for real, but um, she didn't. She was kind of you know choppy, but you know, Vixen did her thing. I'm not taking away from Vixen, Vixen did her thing, you know, she did what she was supposed to do, you know what I'm saying, and you know, she was Vixen, and you know, I got her 2 1. Good battle, I agree. You um, picked Vixen... Shuni, though, you picked Shuni, so you was wrong. Vixen won fair and square, um, fair and fucking square. She was barking. She came prepared. She had a little bit of an attitude. I like, I like when they, when their delivery got attitude. She definitely had a stink ass attitude. And um, Shuni was just choppy. Just like you said, like it was just choppy. It was, it was just like, damn, watching Shuni at times, like fuck, because that's the battle that fucked my predictions up. And that's what I mean by like, on paper, you're supposed to win. You know what I mean? And the yeah. other half of battle rap is your performance. So even in performance, I got Shuni matching with Vixen. So if your bars, if I know that you could, you, you're, you're more skilled. And I'm not saying like Shuni's way nicer than Vixen, but she's a little more skilled lyrically. She's supposed to win. And those errors was just too much. And I want to know if it was prep or nerves. I w I'm really curious to know which one it is. You guys think she'll be honest about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just knowing uh, Shuni the way Shuni is. You know, I have I've had a couple conversations with her in the past. Just the type of person she is. She ain't gonna admit that. <laughs> she's not gonna admit it was prep. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think she's gonna admit that. Um, but but as far as the battle went, um, okay, so uh I originally when I on first watch, I had a three zero, but you know me, I had uh, to breaking down the battle and I've watched after watching it. I did slightly edge Shuni the third round. And um, I basically said that, you know, I, I clearly had Vixen last week. Um, I thought um, the caffeine platform with Shuni's first time was going to be a huge factor into this event. And I just, um, damn, Vixen, she just had a, she just had a huge impact. Um, she just had a huge impact in this battle. Like, even, 
kicking off from the third round. And I and I and I honestly thought it the uh, the first bar that she did. I honestly thought she kind of I thought it was a Tay Rock bar when she said, um, "My man told Smack to smack this girl so nuts she tried to warn the brother and the maniac showed up." I thought it was a Tay Rock bar, but when I was watching the Tay Rock bar, it was um, I think a Tay Rock bar was a little bit different. Uh, um, so um, I, I, I um, I think she mentioned something like that. I could have sworn I seen on her timeline that she wrote the bars and she just seen a battle where the bar sounded alike. And she said, fuck that, I'm leaving it in. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? You're correct in what you're talking about. Cause I've definitely seen her tweet something like that. Yeah. And, and I think with this battle, um, a lot of people were writing her off. Well, except me, somebody on here said she was on the decline. <laughs> was that me? I, I, I don't mean? know. I I think it, it was... might have been look. No, I think she had the win. I think she had the win. Well, Losi whipped um, her ass. Losi whipped her ass yeah, around the park. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was a it was an uncomfortable watch. I think that when the watches are, I think when they're uncomfortable losses, it's a serious thing. Like when you can evoke embarrassment and yeah. you know concern out of me, I feel like you whip that person's ass lyrically. And that's what Loso did. Um, didn't she lose to Emerson Kennedy? Um, no, I think she won that. Yeah. Or did we try to like not watch that and sweep it under the rug? <laughs> I thought it was a debatable. I think battle. that's what happened. I think she lost to Emerson right before Loso. Or did she win? I, I thought it was a bit a debatable battle. Okay. She had a debate. Okay, let me not. Because I like Emerson Kennedy, but she had a debatable with Emerson Kennedy. So I feel like that's a decline, but she's back. I, th I think I think with this battle, she kind of she she kind of addressed a little bit of everything and showed her uh, her overall abilities as a battle rapper because she went to you know addressing her with the you know being half white and half black. She um she addressed it um um her battle um then she, she uh, did address i don't mean to interrupt you she did address a lot of issues i don't feel like she addressed them well i feel like um she has a lot of energy but as far as how the it was constructed it was good you know what i mean i think she delivers her bars better but I feel like Shumi's material is better than her. I just wanted to say that because as you're <laughs> as you're repeating, as you're repeating what she did, I'm like having flashbacks of why I felt like it was kind of regular. I just I just thought that some of some of her schemes and bars she did she it, it did um it did it, it was powerful though for me. No, absolutely, because she got very personal. Yeah. She got very personal, you know, yeah. so I felt like that was, I, it wasn't shock factor for me though, because all the personals that she were addressing to me are getting tired. And it's almost like somebody got to do something creative with these angles, these Fetty angles. Because it's been, it's been used for two years now. It's going on two years. I thought, I thought, I thought the Fetty angles were pretty creative though. Um, when Did she you? Yeah, when she said, uh, what what did she say? She said, um, she said, I'm more loyal than you. I'll hold your man down, then I'll stick by your side. That was, yeah. I like that. I like that bar. And, like then, that bar. Uh, and then the last one, she said, uh, I'll run up on your kids. Don't care if they home and give your daughter mouth to mouth. Um, and the way she, uh, the way that, the way she uh performed it, like how animated she was, and then she was like, I'll give her a mouth to mouth, like as heir to the throne. Okay, yeah, that was fine. She had no, I'm not saying that she was trash. It's just that I <sighs> shuni man. But Vixen's not trash. That's not, you know, it's just one of those battles. I be feeling like I'm like depleting my case of these bitches so they don't like <laughs> But it was just like 
it was just one of them battles that I feel like Shuni dropped the ball. That's how I put it. But I'm not taking any way, anything away from Vixen because when you come prepared like that and it's a close fight like that, that's exactly what you need to get over the hump. So if you make no errors and then the person that's better than you makes one error, then th that's it. It's over. Okay, I can respect that. All right, so um, obviously um, X is not here yet, so we're just gonna go straight to that battle, and it's um, let's go official. <laughs> and Gaddis, you start this one off, Keo. Go ahead. Okay, so with this battle, I'm I and I and I told you guys off air I was gonna do this. I gotta give you to your guys' flowers on this one because uh, you guys said that a official should even battle. She's battling way too much. Um, and then Q mentioned, oh, the breathing control. Like, you could see her breathing a lot. And um, you you guys were right on it. You guys hit it right on the dot last week. And um, and um, and you guys were dead on about it. Um, I mean, it wasn't like I was picking official to win the battle. Because I did have Gaddis winning the battle 2-1. I think the only one that didn't have official... Uh, had official was X, and I thought, I thought Gaddis it um especially it wasn't the best Gaddis I seen. I'm gonna be honest with you about that because if I I think if Gaddis was in front of E Hard in this battle, she would have lost that battle to E Hard in this battle. I think I even think that if she was in front of Vixen with those rounds, I think she would have lost to Vixen in that. Well, battle. I don't think that she wrote rounds crafted for Vixen or E Heart, so I can't no, agree with that. No, I feel like this was specially no, no. tailor made for official. No, I'm saying that the 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 material that she wrote it wasn't the best Gaddis I seen, but I know she. Which been, is the best Gaddis? Which Gaddis is better than this one that we just seen? The best Gaddis I seen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say the last battle she had. I thought the, the her last performance RX. with RX, RX, was better than that. Yeah, she was crazy. She was yeah, crazy. I yeah, she was good. She was yeah, a little she RX. on she that battle. RX. She whipped on RX. She um, whipped on RX though. Yeah, but uh, but she won. Her but, first against her special was crazy though. Yeah, then, she whipped on RX though. Like, but she beat, but she okay, and, and she beat official, the plain and simple. Um, even official had official really beat herself, even though Gaddis was absolutely fabulous. Official absolutely gave Gaddis this battle. Uh, uh Gaddis, she was just confident, man. Like, when, when, when super thing, confident. When, one thing when you look at Gaddis, like, I don't care. Where it is, I think Gaddis is the type of battle rapper, and there's a few of them out there that could just do great no matter what platform it's at, no matter how long they've been out. I just think she's one of those type of battle rappers. That, yeah. yeah, where she's going to That perform. energy is crazy. Her professionalism, ooh. I, 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 and I kind of look at it like this, like uh, going back to sports because I'm a big sports guy. I kind of look at it at like, um, like no matter where this player goes, somebody like a LeBron, and I'm not comparing her to LeBron, don't get it twisted with that. <laughs> with LeBron, right. no matter where LeBron goes, he's gonna make that team a contender. And I think with Gaddis. No, no matter where Gaddis performs, I think she's going to do great at that scenery and platform because she's so confident and so um, so confident and the swag that she has and then the, uh, just how animated she is, man. And she's funny, too. And she got bars, too, man. She be, she was punching in that battle. Yeah. Um, she was. Right. So... Um, um, yeah, she got that 30. Go ahead, Q. No, go ahead. I, yeah, I'll, it I'll was let a 30. Go. Like, um, it was a body, it was a body, like, um, <laughs> but you know, official, she 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 choked. She, I mean, I think she needed to take a break, she needed to chill for a second, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, get her mind right and then come back because we all know official. She she liked that. She one of those. So um yeah, but Gaddis, she did her thing first round, she went off. You know what I'm saying? Her third round, she was funny as fuck, you know, football player who would tackle that type shit, you know what I'm saying? I was laughing like fuck. But like, yeah, that was a a good battle, you know what I'm saying? Well, a good battle for Gaddis. Official, she lost. I'm mad X not here because, you know, X was talking big. He was talking big last week, you know what I'm saying? And mysteriously, like, mysteriously, <laughs> today, he doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. 